need to edit that as well. Uh, okay, I found it. There we go. So. Something is going to be wrong here. Okay. Go down. But to make it doughy, that would be a bit of an issue. Um, so, we'll need to edit this out as well. I'm just going to uh, get the ice out of it. And, uh, yeah, that's gone everywhere. But, again, with this mixture, homogeneity doesn't matter as much as with, you know, other stuff. So, um... <sighs> oh, Did it go fuzzy? I'd say this is about, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 centimeters by, I can even measure it. Actually, I might all wait. Zero. Zero, you stupid... Come on! This is the most asinine thing I've ever worked with. <sighs> okay. And, uh... Yeah, it, you, you just kind of have to work it from a couple of angles. And, um... Scrape it off the end there. Get rid of that. Probably gonna cut to the end of me doing this anyways, but it's gonna be on so you know about these strings is they kind of come in all directions, so you have to go at it and scrape along the edges 90 degrees and then 90 degrees again. That's already done. Okay. See, the thing is, if you clean the pumpkin more thoroughly, then you won't have to deal with this, but I think we did the, uh, the pumpkin dissection in quite a hurry, so we left with some of this stringy crap, and uh, therefore we have to get rid of it. Okay. Let me... Um, yeah. Um, so now the thing we need to do is, okay, the thing about pumpkin is it's, it's quite, you know, thick and uh, it would take quite a while to cook it if we left it in this size chunks. Uh, we are going to boil it, fastest method of heat transfer, except maybe frying because oil transfers heat faster than water, but anyways, we can't do that. So, um, well, but you can just stick it in the... Uh, on the pot if you wish, if that's convenient or if you've not got an electric kettle. Um. Right, I think we're in focus. Uh, actually, never mind. Actually, fork and the jaggery tends to clump. Um, sometimes they sell it in these huge blocks and you gotta like break it off with a hammer and a knife. But this one comes powdered. I suspect they put some sort of like sodium benzoate in it to stop it clumping. Anyways, uh, it does clump a little bit, so I'm breaking that up with a fork. You can see it's relatively even and... Hmm. I may have overdone the sugar slightly, but whatever. It's not exact science, it's a slightly messy, um, not hard. And we're going to give that a twiddle. Okay. 
Once again, we will sample it. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, because otherwise it wouldn't set, would it? It would just be gloppy and watery and yeah. Anyways. Uh, with soap, because um, just as sort of extra insurance, because if I do taste it, I'd rather not get salmonella. And while if an egg has salmonella, it has salmonella, the washing of the outside of the egg does keep you a bit safer, I like to think, anyways. Some shell went in. I'll have to pick that out, I'm afraid. Shell needs to come out. I need to improve my Gordon Ramsay patent egg one hand split. Get out of there. Um, oops, we'll need a beep there. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a lot of shell in here, actually. <laughs> oh my god, this is a train wreck. <sighs> One more piece of shell, and then we're away. Come on! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! No! Okay, uh. Okay, now that the six pieces of shell that I managed to get in there are removed... Uh, oh, I need a place to put this. Hang on a minute. Uh, small plate might be the ticket at this point. Keep your egg stuff isolated, please. Salmonella is not fun. Um, right. Uh, and obviously we need the tenders. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the favorite part. You gotta sort of pick the lid out. That's the irritating part about using tins. Okay, so, uh, where are we? And that. Uh, do I want to egg that? Hang on. And, um, this is not surgery, this is pumpkin cutting. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll keep doing this. So as to preserve space on the device. Sure of the, uh... Oh, crap, that one's got <laughs> skin on it. <laughs> Oopsie. Um... Smooth pie texture. Uh... This might take a while. I'll probably edit this out. <laughs> Phew, oopsie, a few more pieces. I need a beep there. Okay, let me get rid of this because that we don't really need. Um, and um, there's quite a bit of airspace because it's all, you know, cubes, so it'll compress down a bit. This is really close because the thing is becoming more Pureeish, more liquid. Let's we'll give that one more stir and uh, see see how you know that's nice and pureeish and fluffy and what have you. Um, just wiggle it a bit to get to the mix itself. Now we get to add our oops. Okay, excuse me, slightly messy here. That's why we have our. Handy dandy spatula just to get all that crap off there. Mm, that smells quite good, you know? Cinnamon and sugar and allspice and all the wonderful flavorings that we have instilled into this thing. 
Okay. <coughs> now that we've splattered stuff everywhere, having quite a full sink here, but that's what happens with cooking. Okay, so that can come out. Uh, yeah, that can come out too. We are shooting for homogeneity. Home homogeneous texture. How about that? I can't pronounce that word. Oopsie. Okay. That is getting pretty messy now. Um, okay. Now, you could do this on a cutting board or other board, but having a large open space like this is sometimes helpful, and uh, frankly, it's easier to clean because you don't have all those crevices to get into. You can take off the excess and use that for some other tasty thing. Uh, Um, it will contract slightly during the cooking, but, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Just for posterity's sake, wob that back up, stick it in the cellophane, and uh, airtight back in the fridge. We will use that for something wonderful later. Alright, I'm going to clean up a little bit here, and then we'll go to the final stage. Okay, we are in the final stages of our pie thingy. Uh, okay. Um, I've cleaned the work surface, cleaned up my mess, cleaned up the fire that spilled on the floor. We're almost ready. I think that was the uh, oven coming to temperature just there, so... Alright, I'm going to attempt not to spill the fiddling or burn myself, but we'll see how this goes. Pie with the filling. Now even though the oven is closed, there are some um, excellent smells drifting out. I can only imagine to what extent they will intensify once we actually get the thing out. Um, so, final comment. Um, I had to try, I mean, I sort of started thinking, okay, we have this pumpkin, I'm going to make pumpkin pie, how do we do it? And so I tried, tried a couple ways of combining the ingredients, and I found what worked, found what didn't work. The pastry is just classic, like, I don't know, French pie pastry, or whatever you want to call it, uh, but filling is the product of a certain amount of development. Um, and I uh, came to a, uh, uh, a way of doing things that I found worked best, and so the uh, so this video came to pass.